Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 13 of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course. In this part we'll be handling the invite system, fixing the crash and I will also be talking about Steam Bridge. So if you guys uh, have checked out part 1 or 2 and you have come here from there, you would know that Steam Bridge is no longer available on the marketplace. But not to worry, I have spoken to the developer of Steam Bridge and the GitHub uh, page is still up. So you guys could download it from GitHub. I'm pretty sure you know how to do it. Just download the zip file, extract the zip file and follow the same procedure as we did in part 2. If you guys still have any questions, you guys could feel free to ask it over on my Discord server. Link will be down in the video description. Now let's get started. So in order to fix the crash, so if you guys would know, uh, in our ready system, so what would happen is sometimes uh, all these events running together crashes something. Heading back into the root cause is a bit difficult, so just a small fix is just adding a tiny delay of about 0.1 seconds over here when you actually refresh. The callback running along with the refresh members function is what's causing the issue. So and not to really worry about these three variables. Alright, I'm just doing a bit of testing. Now let's handle the invite system. Head into your actual content, UI. Create a new widget blueprint, head into user interface and grab in a widget blueprint and we'll call this one bp underscore invite notification. Open it up and over here it's something very simple that we'll set up. So head into your main menu and according to what you've done, so this space here seems to be pretty empty. Or I could do another thing, I could actually move this border a bit left. So what I can do is I can reduce the spacer a bit. So fine, or actually I'll just leave it as is. So ignore the text box, I just uh, did some testing with that. Now head back into your invite notification, add in a border first of all. And you also want to add in a button. And this button will have some text as well as the border. So add in some text on the border as well as add in the text on the button. We'll just customize it. We'll call this one accept. You could of course make a decline button as well. I'll just show you guys how to make accept. If you guys really want that, you guys could request it on my Discord server. I, I would be more than happy to create that. So just don't mind. I was doing a bit of testing again. So here is going to be accept and over here this text block is going to say who invited you. So this position seems about right and let's just reduce the size a bit. So 20 seems fine. Now over here let's set the background color to something a bit more dark. So brush color is going to be something a bit more dark just extend this across the page let's say about this much reduce the text size again 18 is enough for this and we could align it to the center of the border so it looks neat let's make this one light and make this one is variable and call this one invite text drag in invite text and what you want to do is you want to set the text inside invite text on event construct now we will need access to a couple of variables so we will get access to that so not sure if we should really do this on construct but it's okay now from here drag in a format text and here is going to be the username user has invited you so this is the message that we'll have and for the user we are going to be promoting this to a variable so create a new string variable and call this one inviter name make this of type string expose it on spawn and make it instance editable drag in user over here and once you actually accept the invite so when you press this button you need to be able to head into the lobby and just to make sure the widget actually stays in this position of the screen uh, what I want you guys to do is add in 
uh, anchors so add in a center anchor and do the same over here as well add in a center anchor so this way relative to the center it's going to be in the correct position and that's what we kind of want again you can play around with the settings completely up to you now inside the game instance we want to set up the invite callback so from matchmaking again drag in and type in invite and assign an event for that and we'll call this one on lobby invite received and we could make some space over here and over here we want to get hold of the steam id user so if this widget does not exist so basically if we do not have this widget on the screen basically we don't want multiple of these widgets to overlap on each other that's the only precaution that we need to take so let's just do that so this is the user who is inviting and this is the lobby id so now what we want to do is get hold of the lobby id and we want to create the widget so drag in get all widgets of class widgets of class and you want to make sure top level only is checked so we want to check if there is any invite notification on the viewport so if there is an invite notification greater than zero or let's actually say uh, less than one so only if the invite notification is not on the screen we want to display it so we want to create a widget and this one is going to be invite notification and we want to add it to the viewport and we also need access to the lobby id so let's just reroute that for now we'll uh, drag it in later we need another variable inside our invite notification add in lobby id and this one is going to be of type steam id this one is going to be instance editable as well and we want to drag it from our create widget node click on file refresh all nodes and now you should be able to drag in lobby id just make this a little bit more tidy and for the inviter the user is going to go in over here and we can we can get our steam friends okay we don't actually need that but we are going to get our steam id so drag in steam friends i mean by this point you guys are pretty good at using this i guess so if you really want to get the persona name of someone you can just do this so get friend persona name and the function is going to return the name of the person and that's pretty much it and one more thing is we want to uh, remove this widget once we actually are done with everything now just adding the functionality for the accept button so we have access to the lobby id uh, before we do that we want to leave our lobby so leave lobby again we'll need access to matchmaking leave lobby so from there what we want to do is for the lobby id we need a reference to the game instance so let's do that so cast to main game instance Oops, or actually we can pass that in so now this is just another way to do it so bp game instance and this one is going to be exposed on spawn as well basically what we are doing is we are just avoiding that extra casting step by just uh, passing in the main the game instance uh, reference directly so you can drag in self so we have access to the game instance object in our invite notification and in our game instance object we can get the lobby id get lobby id and you can plug that in and once we actually leave the lobby we can actually join the lobby so this time is going to be the variable which we have over here so this is the lobby that we want to join and target is going to be matchmaking once again so that's pretty much it now in theory if we have done everything correctly we should have a working invite system just that we don't actually have an invite function yet so let's actually create that 
so what we want to target is BP friend and we'll be using this button here the button which we created add in a non clicked event and we want to invite the user so what you can do is drag in steam matchmaking again or doing it in a widget wouldn't be appropriate so we'll handle it in the game instance again so add in another custom event this one is going to be called invite friend and we want to pass in the steam id steam id we'll just call this one steam id and i guess we might have to pass the lobby id not really sure uh, we have access to it so not really required get steam matchmaking over here invite user to lobby drag this in uh, steam id invite is going to be the steam id and the lobby id is going to go as is and now in our friend widget what we can do is we can get our main gi and we can invite so invite friend and steam id is just going to be our own steam id or rather it should be the steam id of the person who we are inviting so this is going to be uh, this steam id is rather going to be the steam id of the person who is going to be invited apologize for that so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did find it useful please make sure you guys do leave a like and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos goodbye